got this bay window frame that needs looking at. So plastic windows which I've already cleaned off and sheeted up to protect them. Quite a large window. So I don't want any of this um, primer going on. I'm going to be using bin primer. So I'll keep as much off this lot. First of all, I'm going to give it all a good sand down, get rid of any loose, anything that's going to be coming away. Um, get it primed up. So, plastic sheeting and some duct tape. Make sure this doesn't come off. Quite nasty really. Looks like at some point it's had new windows and all the beading's been put back but nothing's been addressed. It's not been painted. So, get this sorted. Generally, I'll give it all a light sand down. I'll concentrate mainly on this timber around the edges. Masking up that window, uh, the plastic sheeting will just help keep a lot of the dust and muck off there. Now I'm ready for breaking out the primer. With the bin primer, when it's been sat on the shelf, pigment will have settled to the bottom. So important you give this a really good stir. Shaking the tin may help a little bit, but you will definitely need to stir this. quite thin when you first open it see that that needs to be mixed in Go. Just lift it up from the bottom of it. Okay, so we pulled out. I'll use a two inch brush and I'll work the beads first, get them all done because they want the filling doing. I'll come back over and just touch any of this up.
It's the last bead to do on this sill. That'll be hard enough now just for a quick top up. has done is highlighted anything that needs filling all these edges I'm going to have to run around and fill but this side there must be moisture in this timber so it's reacted there so taking this out along with that one you can see how it's gone black so obviously they've been taking water because they've not been finished and not been painted See if we can lever this out. Bit of hard board to protect the sill. Not too fussed if this breaks. Spacer.
uh, it's not broken but too wet that it's not been sealed so water's been getting down actually it's sopping wet that is and I'll let that dry out and I'll get a piece cut and we'll get a piece back in same again Split the black. Get them pins out. Last one. That's the first one cut. So I can mark that. Leave that there ready. Let's get this one done. Like that one, make sure they don't get mixed up. And get them on. I've already put the pins in, sheridized pins, just makes it easier. When this goes in, I'm not going to put it tight against the frame. I'm going to match it in with the edges of the where this one sits. Primed up. I'll do the other one and that should be hard enough for another coat that's hard enough just to get another coat on it the beauty with this you don't necessarily have to sand between coats but overall you would just to denib because now there's slight third bit of wood 
So as soon as that's dry, I'll give it a light sand. But overall, we're ready for filling. Before I mix any two pack for these pinholes, I'm gonna go around and foam a lot of these gaps. So I've already put a bit of masking tape just to protect the frame there. But some of these joints are quite big. Not many of them, about three or four. But these that I did, they're not too bad. Get some foam in and I'll get these filled. And while the foam is curing, I can get this two pack in. Now what I don't want to do is leave too much on the surface because it does dry quite solid this stuff and it's just a lot more sanding. be quick with this stuff. Well, I've got all the holes filled now I'm just waiting for this foam to cure fully. Not far off being cured, maybe another half an hour. I'll just leave that and then I can concentrate on getting everything sanded down ready for getting all these edges sealed. I'll just shut these windows. Right so this foam is now cured last two bits to come off just gently remove these and blade as well Tape off. Okay, got dust off there. I'm ready for sanding. So I've got some 120 which will run over generally around where I've done any filling with the two pack. That's like I say, that's quite tough to sand back that is. You may start to go into the woodwork but not too bad. Just don't leave too much on. And then I've got some 180 to run over just generally smoother. Because I need to key this and sand this back before I put the sealant along these edges. It is just a light sand, just got my fingers just sort of against the plastic so I'm not rubbing along with the sandpaper. And then now, concentrate on those areas a little bit more, but generally just a white round those edges. Any edge where you're doing any sealing, make sure it's all keyed. Ready for the 180, get moving. Slight change of plan. So after going over with that 120, I exposed little bits of wood here and there. So I've been over it again with the bin primer. And also that bin primer will just help where the foam is 
just make it a bit more solid on the surface. So now I need to rub down the whole lot, making sure all these edges are done where I'm going to be using the sealant. After I sand down, then with a clean cloth and some methylated spirits, then just need to wipe this frame down. I've already cleaned it. This is just a final clean just before I put any sealant near it. White spirit and the cloth. I've cut the nozzle at a 45 degree and then this is what I'm using. Oh, this will be just perfect for what I'm doing. Bit of information there. Okay. Right, let's get it on. Final bit to seal two edges, clean nozzle and just start to apply this I'll stop there right the end of that nozzle again Stopping before I get to where I've finished. Just let that run out a bit. And I can release the pressure. Finishing off just there. I'll just pop that there for the time being. So, got a blade somewhere. Wet this blade and now I can just finish this flat. I want this one to be flat. I'm not too bothered about these being slightly concave, but this one I do want to be flat. And finally, make sure the nozzle is clean, just seal this one. If the conditions were right, you could, if you wanted, use cork here. But obviously, there's an issue with condensation. So I can't rely on it, wait, you know, waiting for that to dry. That's okay now. That's going to go off and I'll be ready to paint it. But overall, no problem there whatsoever. It is literally as good as it's going to be finished. Well, that is perfect. Happy with that. And now that that's all been sanded and sealed, once that sealant's dry, it's just ready for painting. But that's prepared well, that. Couldn't.